Hey guys, this is Junior Coder. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple game with Scratch. So let's get right into it. Before we get started, here are the parts used in this tutorial. First, we need a breadboard. Next, we need two 220 ohm resistors and two LEDs. Now I'm using red and green LEDs, but you can use whatever you want. Then we need four female to male jumper wires and three male to male jumper wires. And lastly, we need a buzzer. So now that we've gone over the parts used, let's get into how to build this project. So first we're going to take a look at the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to connect some female to male jumper wires to these GPIO pins. So first we're going to connect ground, third on the bottom. Then we're going to connect another one to GPIO 17, sixth on the top. And we're going to move on to green, which goes to GPIO 23, eighth on the bottom. And lastly, we're going to move on to black, GPIO 25. Three pins over. So here is how your Raspberry Pi should look like. Now we're going to move back to the breadboard and connect these GPIO pins. So first we're going to connect ground to the ground rail. So we're actually going to be connecting the buzzer first. So this is the positive logo. This means this leg is positive. So we're going to connect that anywhere on the breadboard. So just remember positive goes on row number 50. I'm actually going to do it right there. Now we're going to be grabbing the black one. And we're going to plug that in to the positive side. 50. Then we're going to be grabbing a male to male jumper wire. One side goes to the ground rail. And one side goes to the ground pin of the buzzer. Then we're going to move on to the LEDs. So as I said, I have red and green LEDs. First, we're going to connect red. I'm going to bend it. So one side goes on the right side and one side goes to the left. So next, we're going to be getting a male to male jumper wire. One side goes to the ground rail. One side goes to the ground side. That's the right side of the LED. Then we're going to get a resistor, 220 ohm resistor. So one leg goes to the positive side of the LED. And one leg goes into an another pin. Next, we're going to move on to the female to male jumper wire. That goes to the same row as the other side of the resistor. So now we're done to red. We're going to do the same thing with green. So one leg goes on this side. One leg goes on the other. Male to male jumper wire. One leg goes to the ground pin. One leg goes to the ground row. Then we're going to be grabbing a resistor. Just like the other one, one leg goes to the positive side of the LED and the other go legs goes to any other row. So I'll just be doing row 20. Then we're going to grab the female to male jumper wire. That goes to row 20. Okay, so now we're done with the hardware. This is how your breadboard should look like. And this is how your Raspberry Pi should look like. So now we're in the Raspberry Pi desktop. 
We go to the top left corner and open Scratch 3. So first we're going to add a backdrop. We're going to add this basketball one. And we're going to add two sprites. So first we're going to delete the original one. Then we're going to add two. So the first one, is, let's go to pupil. And then the first one is Ben. And the second one is, go to pupil. It is right here, Jordan. Okay, so let's set these up now. Okay, so first let's code the backdrop. So go there. Then, first we grab the one green flag clicked. Then we're going to add the extensions. So for this uh, program, we actually need both the GPIO and the simple electronics extensions. So let's add both. Okay. So first, let's start with this one. We're going to set GPIO number 25. That's our buzzer to low. Then we're going to turn both these. So we're going to fir first one, we're going to turn LED 23 off. And we're going to turn LED 17 on. Then we're going to grab a weight block. And we're not actually going to give it a value. We're going to go to the operators. We're going to let the computer pick a random number between 2 and 5. Right after that, we're going to start a forever loop. Then, we're going to go to the new extension. So first, we're going to turn LED 17 off. And we're going to turn LED 23 on. So I'm actually going to copy this weight block because we're going to use it a few times. Okay, so I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to do that again. Then we're going to set GPIO pin number 25 to high. Then we're going to grab another weight block. But we're actually going to do 0 0.1 second. Then we're going to go to the new extension and grab this one. First, we're going to set this to 23. We're turning it off. So we're turning the green one off. Then we turn the red one on again. So 17. Now we're going to set the buzzer, which is 25, low again and we're going to use another weight block copy paste just like that so now we're done coding our backdrop now we're going to get on one of these characters or sprites I'm going to go to Ben so first I'm going to go to events and get a one green flag clicked block then I'm going to start a forever loop. Then I'm going to grab two if statements. You'll see why in a second. The first one, we're going to go to the new GPIO extensions. And we're going to grab this one right here. So we're going to check if the red one is on. So that's 17, high. So high is on, low is off. So we're going to check if the red LED is on. Then if it is, we're going to wait till the user presses for for ban we'll do a so go to a then when they press a we're just going to move negative 20 blocks negative 20 steps so we're making a program uh, it's like a race then uh, let's say when the red led is on if they press their button, in this case, Ben is A. If he presses A when the LED, red LED is on, it'll go back 20 steps. But when the green LED is on and uh, presses A, it'll go forward. And the first one to reach their end wins. 
so we're actually going to make another spray. We're going to dry it. First, we're going to grab the line tool. We're going to uh, make a straight line like that. And then we're going to make a rectangle. Ah, the shape doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it like that. That's okay. I'm just trying to make a flag over here. I'm actually going to make the size 60. Mm, no, that's too small. I'll do 80. Then I'll put it right there. Then I'll go back to Ben. Then we're just going to copy this. And paste it. And we're all going to change uh, this to 23. So if the green one is on, we're going to move 10 steps forward. And we're going to go to events again. Grab a one green flag clicked. And here we're going to check uh, if the player won. So to do that, we're, we're going to make it so if it contacts with this sprite right here. So first, uh, I wanted to go to the original spot every time we start it. So every time we run the game, this sprite will go to this coordinates. And these coordinates are set to be where I actually put it, which is right here. Then we're going to grab a forever loop. And if statement. Then we're going to go to Sensing, and we're going to grab this one, and we're going to change this to Sprite 1, which is the flag we created. So if this Sprite right here is uh, touching the flag, we're just going to go to Looks, and we're simply going to grab this one and change this to I Win. That's it. Then uh, we're going to grab, we're going to actually copy all of these and paste it on Jordan so copy this one paste it right here copy this one and lastly copy this one so now let's test our program click the green flag and we're gonna change the A uh, we'll do we'll do D for Jordan and then we'll change this one too and now we can run our program click the green flag so when I press A so right now red is on it goes back so now green is on when I press D okay it goes front so red is on it goes back green is on it goes front Red is on. You have to wait. Green's back. Red. And green. As you can see, it says I win. So that'll be it for this video. If you learned something, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.